Hi everyone. Uh, the very basis of this particular tutorial, which is the first in line, is to give you an idea as to what kind of size you should be working on when you're working on your final website. For most of you who have already done the layout, uh, this won't be a bad idea to actually start it all over again, uh, particularly with the right size. Since you're not working for any client and you don't really have to specify a website, the size of the, of the, of the website based on your client's requirement, but since uh, you're doing it for your final project and uh, all your websites will be viewed in one of the computer screens um, in our college, I would suggest that you keep in mind uh, what kind of screen resolution uh, most of the computers have in our college. In my case, I'm, I know in my laptop I have 1280 by 800. Now I have taken a screenshot. Now I hope you know how to take a, how to take a, a screenshot. Basically it's a still image of how your computer looked at a particular point of time. In your keyboard uh, near F12 or you know on the top line you'll find something called print screen. If you press that it will take a snapshot of your desktop which I exactly did. Now this is the my desktop and um, I've opened one of my websites which I, where I go quite often and this is how the website looks. Now it's a website where there's no scroll so if you want to make a website where you don't have any scroll and you want to be very sure as to it shows completely even though the toolbar might be hiding a part of the website which it normally does. The idea is to find out the exact width and height that would actually make your website fully viewed without scrolling down. Now this is Photoshop and I have opened my screenshot in Photoshop here. Behind the eyedropper tool in the two toolbox you'll find something called ruler, the ruler tool. You select your ruler tool and you basically try to measure one end to another. So you click in the left edge and then you move the ruler tool across and you move it to till the edge. Okay. Now here you can see that my screen size, the width is 1269. Okay. That's 1269. Let me take a note of it. It's 1269. Okay. That's the my width. Now if I want to take the height, I would again use the ruler tool and I will just go from the top. Now here I don't want to include the toolbar. I want to include from the top where I can see the website to down. And it tells me it is 639. Okay, now when you are going to Photoshop to make your layout, as I told you that you need to make your layout and you can do it in Photoshop, you can just type these numbers. It's so 1270. I would actually round it off. Okay, mm, 640. Yep. Okay. Here, in this particular size, I would design the layout of my website. And then I'll get to Dreamweaver with CSS. I'll replicate the exact layout using CSS in Dreamweaver. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about more as to um, after you finish your layout in Photoshop, how can you slice it up? What is slicing and what is slicing all about is the subject of the next video.